Morning prayers returned to the West Jerusalem Synagogue, where just a day before, two Palestinians carried out an attack, killing four rabbis and a police officer. The assailants later shot dead by police. In response to the attack, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu ordered security forces to hit back against Palestinians involved in violence against Israelis. And they did, demolishing the home of a Palestinian who killed two Israelis last month. Netanyahu calling the demolition a significant and important step and said there would be more. Sitting amid the rubble, the grandmother of the Palestinian responsible for October's attack said she is proud of her grandson. I am very proud, very proud. No one should feel sorry for us, for our demolished home. It's an honor for us and for all Muslims. Meanwhile, the father of one of the men who carried out Tuesday's attack said he was shocked. I did not expect at all that my son would be a martyr, and I did not think in any moment that my son would do such a thing. Later Wednesday, Christian, Jewish and Muslim clergy members gathered together outside the synagogue, calling for tolerance. People from all the religions which are here in the Holy Land want to express a common uh, belief that this is not the way. We can have our differences, uh, our political differences, our religious differences. But this is not the way. This is over every red line. The synagogue assault, the deadliest in Jerusalem since 2008, comes after weeks of violence linked to the city's holiest site for both Jews and Muslims. With Jerusalem on high alert, Israelis and Palestinians both worried for what will come next. Padmanandarama, The Associated Press.